What's up guys, Wallen Customs here, and we are finally taking a look at the Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man line, Absorbing Man Wave, Venom. Man, this is an awesome looking figure, very anticipated, uh, pretty cool artwork on the back, looks pretty nice right there. Alright, let's open them up. Alright guys, so here is Venom out of the box. Now, I'm going to admit, at the beginning of this video, I am marking out like crazy. Uh, I love this figure, you know, Venom was one of my favorite characters growing up as a kid. You know, if you're around my age, around 30 years old, you really appreciate this figure because this is how Venom is to us. You know, growing up, growing up in the 90s, reading comic books, this is how Venom exactly looked like. And, you know, it took, took a while to get a pretty decent Venom figure, but we finally have it. And I'm glad to finally have it, actually. I know in the past there were some great Venom figures, you know, I think the best one in my opinion was that uh, Spider-Man pack, I think it was Sinister Six or something like that, Rogue's Gallery, I don't know what it was called, but that was a pretty decent Venom, a little bit too tall and big in my opinion, uh, but that was probably the best one. I know also they came out, came out with other Venoms, but they're so huge and bulky and Hulk-like, you know, I didn't like that at all. Uh, this is exactly how I picture Venom in my head from my childhood. It looks really nice. This is classic Eddie Brock Venom. It looks really nice. Uh, I know obviously they had the Toxin figure and also Anti-Venom, which are great figures too. I do a size comparison with them after, well at least of Anti-Venom. Uh, but it was a good, those are good figures because they actually opened up our eyes, you know, showing us, you know, when those came out, we actually were like, you know what, maybe they might make a regular Venom figure, you never know. Obviously, uh, Eddie Brock is no longer Venom, or at least uh, this classic looking Venom anymore, but I have to admit the nostalgic uh, feeling out of this is, whew, you know, it gets me excited. It really does. Uh, but let's calm down a little bit. So this is a review, so let's talk about what he comes with first. This is the Absorbing Man Build-A-Figure, so he does come with two heads right there. Pretty nice, pretty decent. I have to admit, I'm probably not collecting the whole line because Absorbing Man and some of the other characters aren't that appealing to me, so... Uh, but I have to admit, it looks pretty good. Pretty good stuff right here. Also, he does come with two extra fists for Venom, which is really nice. It's something that the Toxin and Anti-Venom did not come with, and I'm surprised about. And of course, we do get the alternative head, which is awesome looking. Look at that, man. Got the tongue coming out, you got the slime coming out. Nice detail in the teeth, man. And it's pretty good quality, it's a nice sturdy, strong tongue. Alright, let's talk about the body and the body sculpt and the figure itself. Uh, like I said before, uh, this is classic looking Venom right here. He is using the Hyperion body, the Anti-Venom, the Toxin, the Gladiator body. So it's a great use of the body. It looks very nice, very simple to make, man. It's a black figure with a little bit of white. Not a little bit, but with white details on it and white applications. And it's pretty good. You know, it's very simple, very nice. The hardest part, obviously, is the head and it is the best part, in my opinion. Look at that. Like I said before, this is classic looking Eddie Brock 1990s Venom right here. The teeth going all the way down to the side. Got the jawline all the way up to his ears. Man, that's classic right there. Big giant eyes, not the little puny pupils that you see now. The big giant eyes cover his whole face. Whew. Brings back a lot of memories. Uh, going down to the chest right now, the uh, Venom symbol looks pretty good. You know, you have. I have to admit, you thought maybe Hasbro could mess it up a little bit. Uh, let me try to bring down the exposure. Try to see it better. Well, it looks clean, you know. For the most part, you know, maybe the edges a little bit kind of blurry looking. But I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain at all because it, it looks pretty good, in my opinion. But far away, you're not going to notice it. You're really not. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this whole body is just basically all black. You do have white, at, you do have white um, applications over here for his web shooters. And that's basically it, guys. You know, it's a simple looking figure, but it's so simple and so effective. It's so great take a point and talk about these hands, these open hands right here. You know, normally when anti venom came out, I was kind of bummed that he didn't come with any fists, but uh, I'm actually happy that this figure came with these kind of hands because so many different expressions you could do with Venom with these kind of hands because you're so used to seeing that back in the day, you know, he's like, ah, what are we? You know, it's him talking to himself, looking at his hands. Uh, they're pretty good, I have to admit. You could definitely get some good ACBA. Uh, pictures out of this one, yeah. but let's take a look at the other hands. Always need some fists because when he shoots his web shooters out, he's always making a fist. So it's pretty simple. He just pop out the hands. Let's get the right one in. Right there. 
pretty nice and simple, pretty good. Do some web shooting action right there. Go angle it down. Bam. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's take off the head, pop it off. Let's go on. Huh. One second. Sometimes it's hard to do it with your hands and arms extended out. Okay, so this is pretty hard, I have to admit. Alright, so I got the head on. I have to admit, that was actually kind of hard to do. It wasn't that easy. Uh, if you guys have this figure too, did you guys have any problems doing that? Um, it, like, it was almost like the ball joint was too small, but uh, I'll look into that. But other than that, here is the head. Man, it looks pretty good. I have to admit, man. I'm not going to lie, this probably is the most biased review I've done in a long time because I'm just going to praise this figure all over. Maybe rightfully so, because like I said, this is a figure long time coming that we should have gotten a long time ago. Like I said, maybe we waited too long to get it, but when it's finally here, it's well worth it. I'm just going to admire it. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to talk anymore. Going to articulation really quickly, he has the Hyperion body, so you guys know what you're getting anyway. Uh, head goes all the way up. That is insane, man. Imagine the craw crawling pictures people take for ACBA on this. This is going to be good. Uh, goes down pretty good. Goes left and right nicely. Also rocks left and right as well, so good movement right there. Hinge joints on the shoulders that rotates, so it's really nice. And now all around, bicep swivel, two points at the elbow. Swivel and a hinge at the wrist. Two, uh, the ab joint is really good as well. Nice right there. Waist swivel. Uh, T joint and hips. Boom. Doesn't go back that much. Does a nice split right there. Uh, thigh swivel. Two points at the knee. Boot swivel as well. Uh, he also gets a nice hinge right there at the ankle and a pivot. So decent articulation. Pretty standard. Actually really great articulation. It actually is really good articulation. These Hyperion bodies, the base scopes, I think has one of the best articulation and also quality control when it comes to figures from Hasbro because in my opinion the bigger the figure is the better articulation that they have because they're just a lot thicker and easier to move and also more sturdy in my opinion. So when it comes to quality control on the figure and the plastic itself, it's really sturdy, nice and firm and stiff and uh, they don't feel like they're going to bend or they don't feel like they're going to rip. Not everything feels really good and smooth. Alright guys, so here's a quick comparison with the other figures that share the same sculpt. Right here we have Anti-Venom right there. Uh, like I said before, I was surprised he didn't come with any fists uh, back in the day when he came out. That would be pretty nice to have. Also we have Sentry right here. Now I have to admit, most of these figures, I like the body bases on them, especially for Gladiator and Hyperion. They're huge guys, I think they should have it. Sentry, on the other hand, I wasn't really a big fan of the bigger sculpt. I don't think his figure, his character was that big. So, um, you can probably leave him out. But I think these three figures really use the body sculpt well and uh, the best to his abilities. Now, for a last size comparison, here is Venom with some of the other Marvel figures. Of course, we need Spider-Man next to them. They look great together. We have the new Venom. We have the superior Venom right here. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, I totally marked out when I took him out of the packaging. Just a great nostalgic feeling uh, having him in my collection now, a nice 1990s version of Eddie Brock. I'm pretty sure, like I said before, if you're around my age, you definitely appreciate this. Younger or older, everyone will appreciate this figure. It's a great looking figure. I love how they actually use the Hyperion body. It's a great base. The head scope is awesome. No complaints at all, really, about this figure. I know he'll be hard to find guys, so try to find him retail, um, definitely something you want to pick up. If you have to pay a little bit more, I, I still think he's worth it overall because it's just a great figure. So that's about it guys, thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, get a thumbs up. Peace!